There's a, a story on the front page of the Telegraph about the dispute over onshore wind, a suggestion there that the Cabinet Minister, Michael Gove, actually disagrees with the Prime Minister on that. And there's another really interesting piece by Robert Colville on, in the Sunday Times. Now, he's a very well-connected Conservative, and he's basically making the case there that lots of people in your party think the game's up, it's over, the iceberg is, is on its way. Is he wrong? Yeah, I think he is wrong, actually. I Just pick up first on the Michael Gove. Mm. I think that spells real danger for my government. The minute you see cabinet discipline break down, I was in the Liz Trust government. We sort of knew it was over when we lost cabinet collective responsibility. This is the first crack in the wall from Michael Gove. He has got a bit of form on this, I might add. Uh, Boris Johnson famously used to call wind turbines the white satanic mills of the north of England when they were building them all over my constituency. He's changed his mind on them. I, to a large extent, have changed my mind, and I'm going to um, be supporting Simon Clark and, and his so amendment. So you will also I, I will be going be for onshore that amendment because I just think, you know, if you want to know why we should have more renewables, just look at your gas or electricity bill. It's really simple, right? Just look at the bill when it arrives in your inbox or, or through your letterbox. Um, more widely on, on, on colleagues' morale, I do think the government's got quite a narrow window to grip some of these issues and, and prove that we are competent to the British public and if we do that I can absolutely see a path to victory including winning many of those red wall constituencies again which so, so I disagree with that article I don't think it's all over but you did just say there's a narrow window to try to get yeah, well, things there and is, you, I yourself think there is quite a there's only 18 months up, you know really till the next general election yeah. and as you know Laura as a seasoned political journalist the last 12 months no one's really listening it's all about the election campaign so we've got about six months to get this right